The History of Malachite. If by chance you're unfamiliar with malachite, malachite is a green mineral with a very distinct colour resulting from its copper content. It often forms in association with copper ore deposits, and it's known for its characteristic banding or swirled patterns. It's been prized by various different ancient cultures and civilizations. So I'm going to break this video down into five manageable sections. Russia, Ancient Egypt, Aztec, Greco-Roman, and Ancient China. Malachite held particular significance within Russian history, particularly within the context of the country's imperial past, most notably during the 18th and 19th centuries. Renowned for its very beautiful green colour, malachite became a favoured gemstone, finding its way into various aspects of Russian culture, art and architecture. The Russian royal family, notably the Romanovs, showcased a profound appreciation for malachite. One remarkable example being the Malachite Room in the Winter Palace at St. Petersburg, a masterpiece of Russian decorative arts. Commissioned by Emperor Nicholas I in the mid-19th century, the room adorned with columns, pilasters and other intricate elements crafted entirely from malachite. This opulent space reflects not only the aesthetic value attributed to malachite, but also its symbolic significance in representing wealth and luxury. Ironically, the wealth and luxury that ultimately led to the downfall of that dynasty. Another notable artefact is the Malachite Pavilion in the Catherine Palace, also near St. Petersburg. The pavilion, constructed during the reign of the Empress Elizabeth, features stunning Malachite columns and decorative details. The use of Malachite in such prominent locations underscores its association with imperial power and the splendour of the Russian monarchy. Beyond palaces, malachite found its way into personal items of the royal family. Fabergé, the renowned Russian jeweller, created exquisite pieces incorporating malachite. One notable example is the imperial malachite and gold cigarette case crafted for Emperor Nicholas II. This intricately designed case reflects the craftsmanship and luxury associated with both Fabergé and Malachite during this period. In essence, Malachite became a symbol of Russian imperial grandeur, adorning palaces and personal possessions of the royal family. However, the enduring presence of Malachite within these artefacts also stood as testament to the divide between rich and poor, which was largely a catalyst for the upheaval that characterised the early part of the 20th century, which was culminated in the Russian Revolution and brought about the fall of the Romanov dynasty and the ascension of the Soviet Union. In ancient Egypt, malachite's green colour, reminiscent of the lush Nile Delta, associated it with the fertility and the regenerative powers of the annual flooding of the Nile. Egyptians believed that the mineral had protective qualities, warding off evil spirits and promoting well-being. Amulets and jewellery carved and crafted from malachite were thought to bring good fortune and safeguard the wearer. The use of malachite in funerary practices further underscores its importance. Archaeological discoveries, such as artefacts found in tombs, reveal that Egyptians incorporated malachite into burial rituals and rites. The beliefs in malachite's protective and transformative properties likely influence its inclusion in tombs, symbolising the journey to the afterlife and the hope for rebirth. Additionally, much like the material lapis, malachite was also used in cosmetics, ground into a powder to create green eye makeup known as uju. This cosmetic application served both cosmetic and symbolic purposes, believed to protect the wearer from the harsh sun and evil influences. In Aztec cosmology, green was associated with fertility and agricultural abundance. Malachite's vibrant green hue became symbolic of the life force inherent within nature. It was believed to embody the energy of the earth and the renewal of life, 
aligning with the Aztec worldview that linked the cyclical patterns of nature to their deities. Aztecs revered Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god associated with life, fertility and the renewal of the agricultural cycle. The green colour of malachite, reminiscent of lush vegetation, made it a fitting material for creating ritual objects and ornaments associated with Quetzalcoatl. Artefacts like the Mask of Quetzalcoatl, crafted from malachite as well as various other materials, exemplify the incorporation of this mineral into religious iconography. Malachite was also utilised in the creation of masks and jewellery worn by Aztec priests during ceremonies. The minerals present in religious regalia signified a connection to the divine forces governing fertility as well as the agricultural cycles crucial to Aztec livelihoods. In Greco-Roman civilization, malachite held both aesthetic and symbolic significance, weaving itself into the fabric of art, mythology and even medicinal practices. Mined in locations such as Egypt and the Urals, malachite found its way into the hearts of ancient Greeks and Romans via extensive trade networks, leaving an indelible mark on their cultural and artistic expressions. The vibrant green of malachite, reminiscent of lush landscapes, appealed to the Greeks and Romans who associated it with nature, vitality and fertility. In mythology, malachite was often linked to deities associated with vegetation, such as Dionysius in Greek mythology or Bacchus in Roman mythology. The mineral's use in artistic depictions of these gods reinforced its connection to the cycles of life, growth and abundance, much like within Aztec superstition. Malachite's presence extended beyond mere mythology and superstition, however and extended into the realm of personal adornment and luxury items. Romans, in particular, prized malachite for its use in jewellery, cameos, as well as decorative objects. Notable examples include malachite bowls and cups that were found in Pompeii, showcasing the mineral's appeal in everyday life. In the field of medicine, both the Greeks and Romans believed in the healing properties of minerals, including malachite. Whilst not scientifically validated, malachite was thought to have medicinal benefits, leading to its use in both amulets and talismans for the protection against particular ailments. It is probably responsible to note, however, that malachite is a copper ore, which is actually mildly toxic, so this probably hasn't aged particularly well. In ancient China, malachite held a unique position as a revered mineral with cultural, artistic and spiritual significance. Mined in regions such as Hubei and Guangdong, malachite became more than just a geological formation. It became a symbol deeply embedded within the rich tapestry of Chinese history. The rich colour of malachite, reminiscent of nature's lush landscapes, resonated with Chinese aesthetics and cultural symbolism much in the same way as it did with previous civilizations. A notable parallel, in fact, between the civilizations that I've mentioned up until this point. It was associated with harmony, balance and the rejuvenating powers of the natural world. As a result, malachite found its way into various aspects of Chinese art and artefacts. Malachite was often incorporated into intricate carvings, sculptures and ornaments showcasing the skilled craftsmanship of ancient Chinese artisans. In Chinese traditional medicine, minerals were often thought to have healing properties. While malachite wasn't an extensively used material within Chinese medicine, it was used on occasion. Beyond practical applications, malachite played a significant role in spiritual practices. Its green colour was associated with the wood element in traditional Chinese cosmology, aligning it with concepts of growth, renewal and vitality.